High in the heart of the Swiss Alps lies a marvel that defies gravity and logic. Jungfrau Jach, Europe's highest railway station, perched at a staggering 3,454 meters above sea level. It's not just the altitude that makes this feat extraordinary. It's the unbelievable complexity of carving a railway deep into the solid rock of the Eiger and Munch Mountains, braving extreme alpine conditions. Welcome to a story where history, engineering, and nature collide in breathtaking harmony. The birth of a vision. Back in 1893, Swiss industrialist Adolf Geyer Zeller was hiking through the mountains when inspiration struck. Watching a train wind its way along a mountain railway, he imagined an even grander possibility, a railway that would lead all the way to the Jungfrau Peak itself. What followed was one of the boldest infrastructure dreams of the 19th century. Rather than winding around the mountain's exterior, Zeller proposed something radical, starting from the existing high-altitude station at Kleine Scheidegg, 2064 meters and tunneling directly through the mountain to reach the summit. It was a daring plan that offered protection from harsh weather and a more direct path to the peak. Digging through giants 16 years of brutal construction. Construction of the Jungfrau Railway began in 1896. Workers faced unimaginable challenges. Using the drill and blast method, they had to bore through some of the toughest rock in the Alps using primitive tools and dynamite. This method, still used today, involves drilling holes, inserting explosives, and carefully detonating to break the rock. The project took 16 years to complete. By 1912, the 9.3-kilometer line was ready. Astonishingly, 7 kilometers of it runs entirely through tunnels a feat nearly unthinkable at the time, but the vision paid off. Jungfrau Jach became not only the highest train station in Europe, but a symbol of Swiss tenacity, innovation, and engineering brilliance. The Eiger Express and the V Cableway Project over a century later, the same spirit of innovation powers the V-Cableway project, a modern initiative aimed at improving accessibility and efficiency in the Jungfrau region. Central to this project is the Eiger Express, a high-tech cable car system that began operations in December 2020. This isn't your average gondola ride. Covering 6,483 meters in just 15 minutes, the Eiger Express can carry 2,200 passengers per hour, a game-changer for tourists flocking to the region. The new system slashes the travel time to Jungfraujoch by 47 minutes, giving visitors more time to explore and less time in transit. Engineering brilliance in the sky. The Eiger Express utilizes 3S trickable technology, a sophisticated cable system that combines stability, long span capability, and high capacity. It features two track ropes for support and one haul rope for movement, offering remarkable resistance to strong alpine winds. One of the most impressive aspects, despite its 6.48 kilometer length, the system needs only seven support towers, dramatically reducing the environmental impact and preserving the pristine alpine landscape. Each of the 44 gondola cabins can accommodate up to 26 passengers, and they're far from ordinary. Passengers enjoy heated seats, onboard Wi-Fi, and floor-to-ceiling panoramic windows for spectacular views of the Eiger's north face. For those seeking luxury, cabin 888 comes with a V. VIP champagne bar, turning the ride into a five-star experience. The automated freight system. Beyond carrying people, the Eiger Express also features a fully automated cargo transport system capable of moving up to two tons of goods at a time. This ensures food, supplies, and materials reach the high-altitude stations without adding to road traffic or environmental strain. An additional 40-meter tunnel connects this freight route to the Jungfrau Railway, creating an impressively integrated supply chain system right through the mountains, transporting 132-ton steel ropes. Building the Eiger Express wasn't easy, particularly when it came to moving the gigantic steel ropes. Each rope spanned 6,940 meters and weighed 132 tons. The logistics involved convoys of three massive trucks, each 65 meters long and weighing a combined 212 tons. These supersized vehicles were powered by engines producing a total of 1,580 horsepower, navigating treacherous, winding mountain roads and crossing delicate bridges. In some cases, the ropes were temporarily temporarily unspooled across bridges to distribute the weight evenly and prevent structural damage. Installing each rope took between 9 to 13 days and required 400 tons of specialized equipment and 188,000 meters of auxiliary ropes, a testament to the project's staggering scale. 
the inner workings of the Jungfrau Railway. Once passengers reached the Eiger Glacier Station at 2,320 meters, they transferred to the historic Jungfrau Railway, which then tunnels deep into the mountain for the final ascent. The railway uses a rack and pinion system, ideal for steep inclines. A toothed gear beneath the train locks into a toothed rail between the main tracks, allowing it to climb slopes as steep as 25%, equivalent to rising one meter vertically for every four meters horizontally. Uniquely, the railway operates on a three-phase electric system, drawing power from two overhead wires with the third phase grounded via the tracks. It also uses regenerative braking, converting downhill momentum into electricity and recovering up to 50% of the energy used on the ascent. Subterranean stations and glacial views. Much of the railway remains hidden inside the Alps. Along the way, there are stations carved directly into the rock. Though now closed, the Eigervon station featured windows peeking through the mountain face, offering surreal views from inside the Eiger itself. The still operational Izmir station, situated at 3,158 meters, lets visitors gaze upon an awe-inspiring glacier through a viewing window, an incredible fusion of human engineering and raw nature. Finally, Passengers arrive at Jungfrau Joch, where an underground complex connects various platforms, shops, and even an ice palace, turning this remote station into a mini city embedded in ice and stone. Sustainable construction, then and now. The original tunnels weren't just a feat of muscle and dynamite, they were a model of efficiency. Excavated rock was recycled into concrete used to reinforce the tunnel walls. This early use of a circular economy in construction set a precedent for future projects. Even today, drill and blast remains the go-to method for building tunnels through alpine rock thanks to its precision and reliability. Upgrading a car-free mountain paradise. Switzerland's engineering push isn't limited to the Jungfrau region. The nearby Lauterbrunnen Muren Mountain Railway recently completed a four-year upgrade to maintain service to the charming car-free village of Muren. The 63 million Swiss franc renovation, finished in November 2023, involved laying 9,600 meters of new track, installing 8,000 thousand oak sleepers and replacing several thousand tons of ballast, all essential components of railway infrastructure. Modern rail for all. The BLM upgrade wasn't just technical, it prioritized accessibility. The revamped stations now feature barrier-free restrooms, elevators, and a new passenger subway at Winter Egg Station. Brand new Stadler trains now serve the line, boasting panoramic windows, ergonomic seating, and modern digital systems. These new trains reach speeds of up to 50 kilometers per hour, a notable increase over the older model's 30 kilometers per hour. Since the BLM line isn't connected to the main Swiss rail network, delivering these trains required them to be disassembled and transported on remote-controlled trucks, navigating hairpin mountain roads. Testing took place in snowy conditions at 1,600 meters above sea level, often during the dead of night. A half billion franc investment in the future. Switzerland's investment of over 530 million Swiss francs in the Eiger Express and BLM railway upgrades represents far more than just financial spending. It's a strategic commitment to cultural preservation, environmental protection, and sustainable progress. These cutting-edge railways not only reduce travel time and alleviate road congestion, but also promote eco-friendly tourism, enhance accessibility throughout the year, and safeguard the delicate alpine ecosystems. With innovations ranging from VIP gondolas and regenerative electric trains to glacier viewing stations and underground networks, the Swiss Alps now stand as a breathtaking testament to engineering excellence and forward-thinking infrastructure. If you enjoyed this journey through the heart of the Swiss Alps and the incredible engineering behind Europe's highest railway, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, keep exploring. The next wonder might just be a train ride away.